Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I haven't made a video like this in quite some time. If you're new here, now and then I'll put out some content like this as a bit of a channel update. I know this kind of content isn't for everyone, so if you'd rather watch a music video, I've got a link for you right up here. And if you really hate this stuff, for the first time ever, I'm putting up an unsubscribe button. And if you're still with me, jokes on them, that link leads to Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. So today I want to talk about a couple things. I want to touch on the Patreon campaign that I just launched, why I decided to go down that route, what it means to me. Uh, I want to talk about some collaborations I did when I was in LA recently, as well as I want to discuss what the future of this channel holds. First of all, Patreon. I would consider myself a small-time YouTuber. At the time of making this video, I have about 22,000 or so subscribers. And don't get me wrong, it means the world to me that each one of you subscribes to my channel and tunes into my content regularly. But in the broader scope of YouTube, that's a smaller number. And one of the things I've struggled with since starting this channel is sustainability. Each music video I make requires quite a bit of effort to get it to the level where I feel comfortable releasing it. Now don't get me wrong, this is time I love spending on that stuff, but as a smaller YouTuber, I require on a lot of outside sources to generate traffic and therefore revenue. Last summer I had a couple of videos do quite well for me. The Fresh Prince Blues video, as well as the Super Mario 3 soundtrack, got picked up on a number of blogs, had some traction on Reddit, that kind of thing, which really helps out financially. However, when I have videos that aren't performing quite as well, getting that outside traffic, I can get stretched out pretty thin, which is why I decided to launch Patreon and why it's important to me. Patreon is a crowdfunding website designed for regular content creators like myself. You can pledge everything starting at $1, and there's a number of rewards and incentives to make it worthwhile. I offer things like tabs, early access to videos, MP3s, behind the scenes clips, private sensei sessions. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details. There's a link down there in the description. My hope is with Patreon that I can create a little bit more financial stability for my channel. So, when videos aren't bringing in quite as much AdSense, I can still keep making regular content for you guys. So if you enjoy what you see here, it would mean the world to me if you considered supporting my channel on Patreon. The viability, sustainability, and future of this channel really does rely on people like you. Of course, I understand that not everyone is able to do this, and that's okay. The fact that you tune into my channel regularly still makes me so happy anyways. Enough about that, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description, and you can always punch in www.patreon.com slash samuraiguitarist. Moving on, I was in LA recently for the NAMM convention, and if you've never heard of it, never been to it, it's a huge trade show for all these musical suppliers from around the globe that set up countless kiosks in this huge convention center showing off what they make. If you're a gear nerd like myself, I would highly recommend checking it out. So when I was down there, I did two different collaborations. The first one was with my buddy Andrew Huang, who I'd actually met at VidCon. It's a cover of Selena Gomez's song, Hands to Myself, entirely using iPhone apps, which gave me quite a few flashbacks to recording that Don't Fear the Reaper video that I did. But I'm really happy with the way our video turned out. I think it's very cool, and I'm gonna to toss a link for you up there somewhere. The second collaboration I did was with the Gamer Next Door channel, which is Playboy's gaming channel. I know, lucky me. For that, we recreated one of those 90s compilation album commercials that you used to see all the time on TV. You know, where if you buy it now, you get all your favorite hits and more for the low, low price of whatever. So we made a fake commercial for a fake album of all your favorite vintage video game covers played in a smooth jazz style. It's a ridiculous video, but it was very, very fun to make. At one point, I was on the balcony of the Playboy headquarters wearing silk pajamas as the open top blew in the wind as I pretended to play saxophone. It was quite a show for all the Playboy staff and the playmates that were there. I like to think they thought I was super cool, though in reality they might have thought different. Anyways, check out the video. Tell me if you like it. Okay, last topic today, the future of this channel. My goal is to keep putting out weekly content at the same or higher quality as I've done to this point. As such, you'll see the occasional Sensei series or vlog, which are much easier to make and buy me a bit of time while I work on the next insane musical adventure. So basically, you're gonna see more of the same. I'd like to do another big video game soundtrack like I did with Ocarina of Time. Uh, but I always like hearing what you guys like. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more on this channel. To wrap things up, please check out my Patreon page. Even pledging $1 really does help out a lot. Um, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I've got a new music video coming at you in a few days, so I'll see you soon.